In this video, we will show several simulation results as a demonstration for our work Pathfinding via Reinforcement and Imitation Multi-Agent Learning Lifelong. In our work, we focus on lifelong multi-agent pathfinding in highly structured environments. Each agent will be assigned its goal in an environment, and a random new goal will be generated immediately after an agent reaches its current goal. We introduce Primal 2, a distributed reinforcement learning framework for lifelong multi-agent pathfinding, where agents learn fully decentralized policies to reactively plan paths online in a partially observable world. The observation contains layers of information, namely obstacle map, goal map, other agents map, other goal map, pathlands map, A star maps, delta map, and blocking map. The first four layers came from Primal 1. They provide information about obstacles, position of other agents, goals of those observable agents, and the agent's own current goal position, if within the field of view. Pathless map indicates the distance map towards agent's goal. An A star map provides an intuition about future states of the surroundings by giving agent access to their neighbor's predicted future movements. Delta map and blocking map provides information about the corridor in the environment. Let's take the three agent case as an example. So if this is the state we see, the observation size is 5 for agent A. The first four layers of maps are as follows. We use standard single agent A star to compute a pathless map for all the agents. The pathless map of agent A is used as the fifth layer of the observation. Well, the pathless map of B and C are decomposed into several layers of maps, indicating their optimal future actions, assuming that no one else is in the world. The number of future steps is a hyperparameter. In the experiments, we set it to 3. Delta maps compute the distance between two endpoints of a corridor. And finally, blocking map tells the agents whether there is someone else wants to come out of the corridor to ensure that agents always have access to information about their goal and can plan longer term actions. We provide also each agent with a unit vector printing towards its goal and the absolute magnitude of the distance to its goal at all times. In highly constrained worlds with a large number of long corridors, there are several conventions that can dramatically improve the quality of their path. For example, agents should never enter a narrow corridor if another agent is currently moving inside this corridor, in the opposite direction, as this will lead to a deadlock. Similarly, agents moving inside the corridor should never reverse their movements and retrace their paths unless there is a deadlock. However, these conventions are not evident to agents and are very difficult to learn using pure policy gradient methods, mainly because agents learn selfish policies and rewards cannot efficiently capture and reinforce such conventions. To enable learning such conventions, we rely on our supervised vetted loss functions, which teaches agents to avoid taking actions that go against the above conventions. A metric called valid rate keeps track of the fraction of valid actions. While the valid rate starts out low during training, agents are eventually able to adhere to conventions and achieve a near-perfect valid rate. Interestingly, falling from the high valid rate, agents can also learn when they are inside corridors even though this information is not provided to them explicitly through the observation. We consider two variants of MAPF one-shot MAPF and lifelong MAPF, or continuous MAPF. In one-shot MAPF, the agent disappears from the map immediately upon reaching its goal. This formulation is valid when an agent stays on its goal without interfering with others, such as cars reaching a parking space or train entering a station with parallel tracks. The continuous MAPF variant works when agents only know their current goal location and are assigned a new goal only upon arrival to their current one. These new goal locations are assigned randomly and are constrained to be some minimum Euclidean distance away from the agent's current goal. The objective in lifelong multi-agent pathfinding is the maximization of throughput, which means the average number of targets reached per unit time per agent. 
lifelong MAPF environment effectively mimics real-world robot deployments in distribution centers, where agents are dynamically assigned new tasks and are constantly in motion in an attempt to complete them. Here is an AirSim simulation example of our trained algorithm. Primal 2 is designed to run without stopping, but for visualization, we only run 20 agents here for 128 time steps. The environment is 20 by 20, with 50% of obstacles. We also tried larger world size and more agents. Primal 2 is tested to work up to 1024 agents and 160 by 160 size world.